Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you what I eat in a typical day on the high fat carnivore 8020. I'm Anita from ketogenicwoman.com where I share keto and carnivore recipes, other cooking ideas that have helped me to lose 130 plus pounds on this way of eating. So if you would like to join me and uh, see what I've been doing, check out my website, check out the many other videos I have on my channel. And for returning subscribers, I'm so happy you came back. I hope you liked today's video. If you've been following me the last couple weeks, you know that I have shifted over to high fat carnivore. It's kind of an experiment for me this month, although I may keep going after that. Um, see, you know, we'll see what happens. Uh, so what I have found has made a difference is changing from two meals a day to three meals a day. It's easier for me to get in those macros. So for uh, my first meal, um, I've already had my coffee because I've been up for a while. Um, I do put four or five drops of this iodine supplement in it. And I've, all, I've already done that, um, but I just wanted to stress that uh, it's the only supplement that I take. Um, other, than, other than Element electrolytes, uh, which I'm going to talk about later, um, but that's it. And I seem to be doing well on that. So, so that's, but back to what I'm gonna eat for my first meal. I'm going to uh, fry up some burgers. Um, unfortunately, the grocery store yesterday did not have regular ground beef. They only had lean ground beef. So that's okay, I'm having it. It just means I get to add more butter. Uh, I'm trying to, uh, every day, get into that 80% fat range. Um, so I will put up the, actually I have the macros for this meal right here, but uh, I will put up a little pie chart that shows the breakdown of this lean ground beef. Uh, Cause normally I use regular when I can get it. Don't know why it's so hard to get, but, but it is. So the other thing I wanted to mention is that the last time I talked about beef, the, the regular ground beef, I made the comment that it was pretty close to 80-20, you know, 80% fat, 20% protein. I was not talking about the weight of this because here in Canada, uh, regular ground beef is about 25 to 30% fat and the rest is lean. I was talking about in terms of macros. So uh, this is about 70% fat from calories and 30% uh, protein for calories. So I will up that to 80-20 by using butter. Just wanted to make that clarification because I, I know a lot of people were confused by my statement. I was talking about macros and percent of calories. So um, before I fry up my burgers and show you how I love to eat them, I'm this is my new favorite meal, totally. I, I can't get enough of this. I do want to talk about these, what I've been calling carnivore cupcakes. These are the cupcakes or butter, beef butter cakes cups that I made a couple of days ago. I made some shaped like a snowflake and I made some just in a regular muffin cup. So they're, you know, they're easy to eat. So uh, I had a lot of questions about how to store them. I do keep these in the freezer, but because later today I'm going to have one um, with my lunch, I, I, take, I tend to then take them out in the morning um, if I know I'm going to have one. You can just leave them in, once you have frozen them and everything is solidified, you can just leave this bag in your fridge as long as you know you're going to eat them up within a few days. Um, because they're not as, uh, they won't last as long as say a pound of butter in your fridge would. Um, but for a few days, they'll be fine. So I'm actually going to take out a snowflake just because they're so cute and pretty. And I'm going to put this on that plate. I'm gonna put it back in the fridge. 
and then uh, these go in the freezer for tomorrow. I, I mean, then I'll just take one out in the morning tomorrow for whatever I'm gonna eat tomorrow. I usually eat one or two of these a day. They're very handy and they're perfect for taking to work. I carry them in an insulated lunch bag and then they're soft enough to eat by the time I get you know, to my meal. Um, you don't want to eat them straight out of the freezer because they're hard and I don't know that would hurt my teeth So back in the freezer they go and I will meet you at the stove and show you my favorite way to cook these All right, I've got my pound of uh, ground beef I literally just take a knife and divide it visually into four equal pieces um, and that's all I do I don't even form them into a patty other than once I take the piece out, I just kind of squeeze it together a bit so it holds together somewhat. And then I put it in the frying pan. And I do that for each one. Oh, I have a scoop, like a tablespoon of bacon grease in here. I don't count that in my macros because when I finish cooking this, it's still there. I'm not actually pouring any of this fat anywhere onto my meal, as you'll see. I love eating these cold as well. They're so good. Okay, oh, I better get my splatter screen. Hang on. I like my burgers pretty medium rare. So the, uh, I don't, I'm not gonna cook this very long. And in my cast iron pan, I cook it on high just for like a couple minutes per side. And then they're done. Hopefully it doesn't uh, offend any of you when you see the inside. Uh, I'm putting my salt and pepper mixture on here, white pepper. One tablespoon kosher salt to one teaspoon uh, white pepper. This is my favorite seasoning. You put on what you want or you can put on nothing. So that was about a half a teaspoon. Just going to grab a plate, they're almost ready. Okay, let's go back and then I'll show you what's next. Okay, so uh, here's my big juicy four ounce burger. It is uh, lean ground beef. Uh, I'm going to add two tablespoons butter. So I, I generally take a stick of butter, cut it into eight pieces and then I know I've got, uh, I can easily grab two, get my two tablespoons. So before I taste it, I'm going to tell you the macros of what you see here. This meal is 453 calories, 21.2 grams of protein, 40 grams of fat, and it comes in bang on at 80% of calories from fat, 20% of calories from protein, 80-20. So that's perfect. Now I try to shoot for 25 grams of protein at each meal. So probably on one of my uh, other meals today, I, I'll bump up my protein a bit to get me at that minimum protein level that I'm also trying to achieve during this 80-20 uh, uh, month. So now look away if you're squeamish about red meat inside your burger, because this is the way I like it. Don't judge me. We can still be friends. I promise. Here's how I like to do it. I take a chunk of butter and a chunk of the meat. This is, I don't know, this is like perfect taste sensations. The, the cool solid butter, the juicy pink meat. Some would say red, but whatever. Mm. Mm. That is my favorite bite of food right now. Absolute 
favorite. I could go three meals a day like this, but I won't. I'm trying to get some variety. And I'll show you what I have when we come back on for my next meal. Okay, I'm ready for my second meal. We're back in the kitchen. So what am I gonna have? I am going to have a, uh, what I've been calling my carnivore cupcake. And we talked about that earlier. I will put the recipe link to this below. I'm going to have a can of sardines. Now I, I keep my canned sardines in the fridge because for some reason I prefer them cold rather than at room temperature. So I'm going to put that on my plate in a, in a moment. I'm also going to have a, a tablespoon of butter. I'm actually having two tablespoons, but I like variety. I'm gonna have some butter bites. So the thing about these butter bites is I used my Element electrolyte package to make them. Um, so I'm just having one, the, the equivalent of one tablespoon of butter. I made these in my cute little Christmas themed molds. So I'll let you have a look here. I have a snowflake, a gingerbread man, and a gift wrapped present. So that equals one tablespoon butter. This is a tablespoon butter. So I think this is the perfect time to stop for a moment and thank Element for sponsoring today's video. What is Element? It is a super tasty electrolyte drink. I've been using it every day for about three or four months now. And it has a science-backed formula of 1,000 milligrams sodium, 200 milligrams potassium, and 60 milligrams of magnesium. I have been loving the chocolate salt lately. I, for some reason, I thought I, did, I wouldn't like it as much as the lime or the citrus flavored, which tastes like lime to me. And so I started by trying some in coffee. I tried it in there, I love it in there, but I also now like it on water. Who needs to use Element? Pretty much anyone who's doing low carb, keto, paleo, carnivore, like I am. I find it difficult to keep my electrolytes in balance. And so I have been finding it super helpful. And right now Element is offering to my viewers this deal where anything that you buy off their website, any purchase, you will get this free sample pack. It contains all eight of their flavors and that way you have a chance to try out the flavors, see if you like them. I mean, that's how I figured out I like the chocolate is uh, through a sample pack like this. So it's good to share with somebody if you're trying to introduce maybe somebody else who needs some electrolytes or just to sample the flavors. It does apply to repeat or return purchasers. You don't have to be a new customer. You can be a return customer. The link will be posted down below in the description as well. You'll be able to see it on the screen. It is drinklmnt.com slash ketogenic woman. That's D-R-I-N-K-L-M-N-T dot com slash ketogenic woman. Thank you Element for sponsoring this video and thank you to my viewers for supporting my sponsor. Okay now we're going to get back to my lunch. I am going to uh, put my sardines out and tell you about the macros here. So the macros, uh, you'll see them posted above as well, uh, but I have written them down here. So this meal it is 628 calories, 32.5 grams of protein. Uh, this morning, if you remember, I said I was gonna up my protein a bit at the next meal because my first one was lower than I wanted. 58.2 grams of fat, making this 80-20 uh, when I put it into chronometer. So we are doing 80-20 good so far today and uh, 
I invite you back for my dinner. I, I'm not 100% sure of what I'm having for dinner yet because we have an unexpected house guest today. So I'm going to figure that out and see you in the next segment. Okay, today did not turn out anything like I thought it was going to turn out. It's at least two hours past the time I normally eat. So what happened was that uh, this morning I uh, got a text from my son. He was coming over from the island. He said he was coming this weekend, which I took to mean, you know, Saturday or Sunday. And uh, today's Friday. And I was totally not expecting that. And then I ended up just doing some stuff with him, which is great, you know, um, but running around, trying to help him with his passport application, getting signatures, photos, all that stuff. And now he's over at a friend's place. I can come home and eat, but I was not able to prepare anything. Uh, I was going to have ribs, but I have leftover burgers. I, I know you guys are going to be disappointed maybe because my dinner looks exactly like my breakfast. I'm not disappointed because this is one of my favorite new meals. So, and because it's late, I'm just, I'm literally just going to eat cold burgers with butter because I like them. So, uh, I think I'm just gonna, because I'm just gonna have one. I don't, I, I'm, I'm hungry, but I know that when I eat late, I tend to get a little bit of heartburn at night. So I try to eat by, you know, 4.30 or 5. So keeping it light. And I know that will satisfy me once it's in me. So do I seem a little frazzled? Frazzled, frazzled. <laughs> I think I, I am. Anyways, I will see you guys on the next video. I am going to figure out the macros for the day and put them, we'll post them up here somewhere. And I'll put them down below as well. I'm going to put a link to the uh, carnivore cupcakes and um, put the other macros of what I had today. So hopefully something um, that you saw today in this video will help you with your 80-20 figuring out, you know, what to have. So we'll see you guys on the next video. Okay, so today I'm going to eat uh, three meals a day. No, wait, wait a minute, sorry. Which camera am I looking at? I'm sort of uh, confused. One, one part kosher salt to, sorry, one part, I don't know, too much in my mouth. Okay, where are they? I picked up a carrot. Where's, they're, they're in my purse, which I don't know, was well, sure I put it over there.